important book this Bible is. Genesis chapter 40. The cupbearer and the bake and the baker. Sometime later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the same per prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, and he attended them. Uh, the captain of the guard. So, isn't Potiphar the captain of the guard? Uh, sometime later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master. Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard. In the same prison where Joseph was confined. So the reason that I'm rereading that is because uh, it is possible that Potiphar has his own prison uh, because he himself is the captain of the guard and any of his servants that do wrong he can put in his own little uh, household prison. So I think that's what it means. I think that's right there in verse 3. Put them in the custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the same prison where Joseph was confined. Well, there you go. So after they had been in custody for some time, each of the two men, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were being held in prison, had a dream the same night, and each dream had a meaning of its own. When Joseph came to them the next morning, he saw that they were dejected. So he asked Pharaoh's officials, who were in custody with him in his master's house, in his master's house. That's what it says. Learning stuff all the time. Learning more and more. So he asked Pharaoh's officials who were in custody with him in his master's house, Why do you look so sad today? Huh. It's like I've never read this before. It's not. It's like I've never read chapter 40 ever in my life. And I've been writing a book on this. I've been writing and drawing a book about this. Uh, we both had dreams, they answered. But there is no one to interrupt inter, no one to interpret them. Then Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. So the chief cupbearer took Joseph his told Joseph his dream. He said to him, In my dream I saw a vine in front of me. And on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed, and its clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and put them in his hand. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your position and you will put Joseph's cup in his hand, just as you used to when you were his cupbearer. But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. I was forcibly carried off from the land of, my he of the Hebrews, and even here I have done nothing to deserve being put into a dungeon. Oh, that's another thing. Another parallel, another uh, typology uh, of Joseph being compared to Jesus, uh, Joseph didn't do anything to deserve uh, being put in a cistern, didn't uh, do anything to be put into uh, Pharaoh's prison. Just like Jesus uh, was blameless uh, for uh, any of the sins that he died for. Uh, when the chief baker saw that Joseph had been favorable Given a favorable interpretation, he said to Joseph, This reminds me of Drax from uh, 
there's a, a scene where uh, Peter uh, Peter's mind was being read and she's like he says Ooh, she read your <laughs> she read your mind and said exactly what you were thinking that must be so embarrassing do me do me do me <laughs> Uh, so I'm thinking the baker said, Do me, do me! <laughs> when the chief baker saw that Joseph had been given a favorable interpretation, she, he said to Joseph, I too had a dream. On my head were three baskets of bread. In the top basket were all the kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating them out of the basket of my head. This is what it means, Joseph said. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head and impale your body in a pole, and the birds will eat away your flesh. Now the third day was Pharaoh's birthday, and he gave a feast for all his officials. He lifted up the heads of the chief, he lifted up the heads of the chief cupbearer and the chief baker in the presence of his officials. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position so that he once again put the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he impaled the chief baker, just as Joseph had said to him in his interpretation. The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. 